Breaking news. Prophet uh, Olu Jobi releases prophecies about Namdekano, Tunumbu, Atiku, and Obasanjo. Then we have wonderful people now here who go take start this uh, early morning or early Sunday morning news. Uh, we are going to go into the details. ASAP. There's no time to tell time. We don't shout anymore. Because people are complaining. So let us read in between the lines. But make sure you like, share, comment. And make sure uh, you subscribe to this channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Tilly Man. I'm Andean Eze, reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. In another development, here are the most of the headlines to expect in this very broadcast. The video Mahi orders arrest of street traders in Aba. I don't know the, the business that the Minister of Works have in Aba. Aba is not his own state. But notwithstanding, not that I'm supporting the street uh, hawkers because uh, they are causing a lot of nuisance. As a matter of fact, most of all these uh, street hawkers are the, the worst informants you can ever deal with in, in terms of uh, 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 I mean, I mean uh, 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 insecurity. But anyway, uh, when we read the news, we are, we are going to find out what he meant and why so. Because I know that he is a minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, not Minister of Aba or Minister of uh, Southeastern Region. But Minister of uh, FCT, that is the Ministry of Works and Housing. Enugu State Government, they don't uh, ban scavengers, cat pushers, commences enforcement. These are part of the reasons they have to do. But the rest are sure that uh, by stopping all these people, all these scavengers, <laughs> provide work for them because I know they are criminals. I know they are informants. But in other way, if you stop them from, uh, because they are moving from place to place for their uh, daily food or daily bread, when you stop it, be less assured that crimes will also increase. If you leave them, crime will also increase. That is, Odudubere Nutu. A happier, or my boyfriend Nutu. Ibukuna Yebu, Utuan and Ansu. My brothers, let us trade with caution. A word is enough for a wise. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. Happy Sunday to you all once again. The spiritual head of the Wisdom Church of Christ International in Lagos, Prophet uh, BC Olujobi, has warned that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Nam de Kanu, should not be allowed to die in prison. Speaking to Daily Post while releasing a series of prophecies during the week, Rujobi has also said that a new political party is on the way. He said a new party would be formed by a former president, Ulusegun of Asanjo. A new party is coming through OBJ to go against Tunumbu. If Tunumbu is not careful, they will turn him down the second time, he said. The cleric further advised a former vice president, Alaya Chukabubaka, to go and rest, although he is still. Okay, he still has opportunity. According to him, Remy, wife of a president Tunumbu, should not sleep. Another plan is on the way against her husband. I can see him on a sick bed. <laughs> Somebody who is sick already. <laughs> prophet, prophet. Prophet, I do, you are doing well. On the Kano, he said the IPOB leader is already inside the prison. Government should be careful about the health of the man. If guy is not taken, the man will die in the prison. Government should quickly release him now so he won't die there because if he dies there, a crisis will begin in the country. They should work on his matter. Igbo land, Igbo land needs to pray for Maze Namdekano about Kano. Tunumbu should not allow him to die in detention because of the problems. In another development, Minister of Works, David Omahe, arrest, uh, orders arrest of street traders in Aba Omahe at the stage. The Minister of Works, David Omahe, on Saturday ordered the arrest of some persons trading on the completed section of the Aba, a, Aba axis of Enugu Portacourt Expressway, still on, on, undergoing a rehabilitation. Omahe, who was in Aba to inspect the project, 
directed the security operatives attached to his motorcade to arrest the errant traders. He expressed disappointment over the activities of the traders, saying that they would be charged to court according to the law of the land. He said it appears the people here like to inflict injuries on themselves. They can't even allow the contractor to walk. Exactly my point. They drive against the traffic. They use a completed road for parks, trading and dumping of refuse on a road that is still under rehabilitation. And tomorrow they will be blaming it on the government. The whole of our bar refuse is being dumped on this road. It is not uh, encouraging at all. I will advise the governor to set up a task force here. We wouldn't like after the federal government has spent so much here, we see people building and trading on the roads. So the only way out for this work to be completed is for the governor to set up a task force and clear the road as soon as, soon as possible. The citizens of this country, we need to do their, their bit, while leaders also do its bit. That is the only way it will work out for all of us. Why Mr. President is passing through the sleepless night on how to solve the problem of a very bad inherited economy and who have that bad inherited economy for the same APC. I'm very, very happy that you made this comment. A very bad inherited economy from the same government you serve as a governor. <laughs> Nigerians will support him and also support themselves. The minister expressed uh, satisfaction with the job done by the contractors. In an interview with the newsman, he said, that the project, which was first awarded about 10 years ago, had yet to be completed because of the high cost of construction materials. When I came on board in August 2023, bitumen was 500,000 naira per ton, but today it is about 1.3 million naira per ton. Who is the cause, if not the government that inflated the, 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 the I mean, uh, that keep on, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in, in, inflating every contract they awarded. That is why we are asking, can we go for a concrete that is almost about 95% sourced locally? Do it if that will solve the problem of the roads. Enugu government bans cat pushers commences enforcement. Concerned about the growing security threats posed by the activities of scavengers and cat pushers, the Enugu state government has uh, resisted is banned on their operators, warning that scavengers and car pushers caught will be prosecuted and be sent to prison. The re reaffirmation of the pre uh, prescription of the scavengers and activities popularly called Iron Condemn in local balance was disclosed by the Secretary of State Government SSG, Professor Chide Bere Onya, on Friday after an elaborate meeting with the leadership and representatives of the Hausa and Fulani community and their Igbo and Yoruba counterparts at the government house in Ugu. Lamenting that the hundreds of petitions had been received from members of the public protesting against the activities of the illegal waste pickers, the SSG said enforcement of the ban, arrest and prosecution of all letters will commence on Monday 29 January of 2024. He observed that scavengers with evil motives were infiltrating the state, breaking into people's homes and stealing their valuables, adding that the state is determined to protect the life of the citizens and safeguard their properties against intruders. Citing Section 20 of Enugu State Environmental Law, Professor Onya said anyone caught scavenging within the state risks two years' imprisonment, calling on residents to be on lookout for would be violators and report to the nearest police station or the task force set up for that purpose. The Enugu State Government is determined to protect every life and property of our citizens. That is our primary responsibility. We will ensure that every threat to the uh, security and peace of the state is eliminated. The government will no longer condone the activities of uh, scavengers in the state. We have to get rid of uh, the state of every vestige of crimes by restarting, uh, restoring sanity. We want to assure all the residents in the state who are into genuine business that we will continue to work towards making the environment safer for each and every one of them. You will recall that sometime in November, in November 2023, after reports from residents complaining about harassment and theft 
from scavengers and illegal waste pickers. The government set up a committee to assess the extent of the threats scavengers posed to the well-being of our law-abiding citizens. It was established that criminals are now roaming the streets, posing as scavengers. Following this establishment, the government activated the law that provides against scavenging activities by outlawing these illegal operators. However, as government with a empathy and a human face, we allow for time to communicate the order. During the period, it was observed that more of the scavengers had infiltrated the state, all in the name of picking iron. So we now determine to enforce the law. This should serve as a warning to the scavengers in the state. By Monday, the state task force will be out to give full effect to the prescription he added. The state government further called on the law enforcement agencies to arrest and persecute all the petal scavengers and make examples of them. The call that the residents in the state have been appealing to the government to tackle the menace of the scavengers and get rid of them out of the streets. A few weeks ago, security operatives recovered a set of dangerous arms, including guns and matches, from scavengers arrested at Abani Road, Gariki, and Obete Market areas of the state. This is the word of Okute. Thanks be to the listeners. Anyone my wonderful people are here, we will take back break you. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more, more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Man. I'm Andrea Neze. I report live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. I'll be right back. Bye for now. Okay, Messiano.